well, he might have even he might have even won. But uh, Sandrine just had a clear shot at it down the outside, and probably a slightly better position early on in the race. Uh, tailed off, Gubbass didn't want any piece of it really from the early stages. We thought the pace was honest enough, but given how long. Uh, Pogo and Happy Power have hung around and where they finished, you'd think they must have just been setting a, a good swinging gallop. Yeah, I think it was just a good solid tempo, wasn't it? They've not gone way too quick that the pace has completely collapsed. And Pogo, as I say, having fought off Lord of the Lodge for the lead, it's admirable that he hangs in there as well as he has. Happy Power's run a lot better than he did for a while. But you can see that position that uh, Sandrine has got towards the outside. David Probert will have been happy swinging into the bend and he got a clear shot at it down the outside. We've seen winners coming down the outside already in our previous race, the vintage. The two horses finishing off the pace made their moves wide, and that was the case with Sondrine again today. Um, we'll just see in a moment, Kinross dives towards the inner. Ju you just wonder, it's difficult on this shot to know whether he was held for momentum at any point, but he may just have been very briefly uh, had to bide his time as he tries to sneak up Pogo's inner. A perfectly fair run from, from Sacred, albeit not really justifying market expectations. Ever Gibbons run to the pound with Pogo from their running at Newmarket. Lucille's really the disappointment of the race. Yeah, he was disappointed and, and he didn't he, he met a little bit of trouble in a moment. We'll see in a moment that he gets squeezed out slightly. But he just was he never seemed to be travelling from quite a way out. Um, and I don't know what I'd put that down to. I mean he's had I suppose he went to Royal Ascot, ran a big race there. He went to France and ran in the Jean Pratt and ran a good race there. And perhaps that slightly busy spell that he's had might have just been catching up with him. But uh, never looked like he was going to really land a telling, telling blow on, on the race. There's the head-on we can see. And Kinross up the inside. Just finds Pergo leaning on him very slightly, but it's marginal. It is very, very marginal. Uh, Andrew Baldy's got a very strong squad this week. Coltrane in the Goodwood Cup in a few moments' time is a very interesting runner. Tomorrow he pitches the defending champion alcohol-free in against Baid in the Sussex Stakes. It's sporting and absolutely the right move, and he's got any amount of chances uh, scattered through the handicaps and the maiden races as well. Yeah, and this is this filly's a you know she's a she's one of the, she's had a good season. She started out in 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 the Guineas with high hopes and. She's she's never never really let herself down, has she? Performing well in Group Ones, but I think this strongly run seven furlongs was just up her street, wasn't it? And although she's cut back in trip today, it's still a nod of sorts to the Falmer Stakes. And yeah. we're all beating our chests about Inspiral being defeated, and perhaps we didn't really give the race as a whole credit for you know what it was. And, and Primo Baccio tests the form tomorrow in the Oak Tree Stakes, where she ought to run a, a pretty big race. It might just be that Prosperous Voyage deserves a bit more credit for the success in that race than we gave her at the time. Yeah, and it, it, you know, it's a, a nod to the Phillies' three-year-old form as well, isn't it, over, that, over, over the mile uh, distance? And I suppose Lucille's disappointment might be a, uh, a look away from the, the three-year-old Myling Colts, I suppose, to some extent, with his proximity in the St James's Palace, although I don't think he's actually no, given he's, his he's, today. He's not gone a yard today, no. has he? After running a blinder at Ascot and then a blinder again in the Prix Jean Pro over seven furlongs at Deauville. It might just be that three runs concertina in yeah. quite quick succession at a high level has, has taken its toll on him. It's another member of the Classic Division that has won, a female member of the Classic Division. That's the homebred Sandrine in the colours of Kirsten Rousing for trainer Andrew Balding, continuing his fine record here at this fixture. And David Probert uh, riding another winner in typically efficient fashion. Nick Leifert has the SPs. Yeah, I do, and um, that will satisfied them immensely that she's back into the winner's enclosure for the first time since last year's July meeting. She was a star early.